born on the second day of October in the year 1869 in the coastal city of Porbandar, Gujarat, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was the youngest child of his father's fourth wife. His father, Karamchand Gandhi, served as the chief minister of Porbandar, setting the stage for Gandhi's future leadership. As a young boy, Gandhi received his primary education in Porbandar before attending high school in Rajkot. At the tender age of 19, he journeyed to London to study law at the Inner Temple. In June of 1891, he was called to the bar, marking the beginning of his legal career. But Gandhi wasn't just a political leader. He was also a family man. He married Kasturba Gandhi, and they had four sons, Harilal, Manilal, Ramdas, and Devdas. His family tree has since grown, with notable descendants like Rajmohan Gandhi and Gopal Krishna Gandhi continuing his legacy. After practicing law in India, Gandhi moved to South Africa, where he honed his political views and developed his methods of non-violent resistance. He returned to India in 1915 and swiftly rose to leadership in the Indian National Congress, advocating for India's independence through non-violent means. Gandhi's philosophy of non-violent resistance, known as Satyagraha, became the cornerstone of India's independence movement. He led several impactful campaigns such as the Salt March in 1930 and the Quit India movement in 1942. These movements shook the foundations of British rule, ultimately leading to India's independence in 1947. However, Gandhi's journey was tragically cut short. On January 30, 1948, he was assassinated by Nathuram Godse, a Hindu nationalist who was opposed to Gandhi's tolerance towards Muslims post-independence. Gandhi was shot at point-blank range during an evening prayer meeting in New Delhi, yet despite his untimely death, Gandhi's legacy continues to live on. His life and teachings inspire individuals and movements around the world, advocating for non-violence and civil rights. The story of Mahatma Gandhi is a testament to the power of peaceful resistance and the indomitable human spirit, reminding us all that change is possible when we stand for what we believe in.